Hi, welcome to GMT's Gallipoli 1915 Church of the Greatest Gamble, uh, going by Jeffrey Phipps. Um, we're doing the Cape Palace historical scenario, women to turn two, which is 6 to 8 a.m. We've done the wave one, just about, and uh, on to wave two. There are a couple of things I uh, think uh, I missed. Um, that uh, need a little bit of rectifying. Uh, first thing in wave one is that there was actually the units up uh, at Y Beach here, which uh, needed to land as well. Now they're at stalled attack uh, is Y Beach, so they're a half movement. So literally the, the units can only really get on the beach, as uh, I think it's three movement points to get on. A contour change, the scrub and the plus one beach landing uh, so we just need to put those units on uh, so that's now uh, rectified the uh, other thing to deal with was the actual officer point changes um, from wave one. So uh, two major things uh, that change the officer points with this is the declaration of moving to assault um, for each of those beaches will chew through one officer point. And uh, the loss of uh, a step also costs uh, two officer points per step loss. So we need to just adjust those as well. So that's meant uh, that we've lost officer points at uh, X Beach here. Uh, that's here. Uh, we've lost uh, four officer points for the two losses and one for the declaration of assault. Similarly at B Beach the same. And uh, W Beach we lost the one as well. So uh, B and X Beach are uh, hurting as far as officer points goes, so a continuation is less likely next turn. And I'm sure uh, Wave 2 will have uh, some similar effects as well. Right, we've adjusted the officer points, um, so now we're on to the uh, wave, second wave uh, segment of the amphibious assault phase on turn two and uh, we've uh, we've placed our units coming in there's the River Clyde coming in there's uh, an HQ here which won't be landing um, because there's uh, there's no units on the beach um, another unit landing here we have just off camera uh, there uh, S Beach um, it's quite a, a watch coming there and um, Oh, yeah. Zoom out, that's probably better. Uh, we've got some more units coming on X Beach. Uh, so uh, they've been placed in the rowing sub-segment. Uh, and uh, we then, uh, there's no scatter, it's just the naval fire uh, sub-segment now. So it's, um, it's the coastal defence um, uh, uh, fire but uh, that is has been suppressed by the Navy for this turn so there's none of that uh, we have the MG fire from the boats uh, coming in um, there isn't anything for W Beach because that hex has been cleared um, V Beach um, we don't really have any steps because everything's inside the River Clyde and uh, I'm not sure that the machine guns on River Clyde actually work until it's actually been beached. Um, so we have uh, the V Camber beach here. Uh, it's coming into uh, that hex there, which is a fort. Um, well, uh, a circular trench, um, effectively a fort for infantry. And so we'll, uh, we'll fire our half a point coming in on there with a plus three as the uh, modifier, uh, plus four, sorry, for the fire trench. And we have a five and quite a low percentile roll, 15, but I still don't think that's going to be enough. Um, let's see.
no, no, you needed a 0 0.5. Uh, so, yeah, no effect on there. However, that is within 40, so there should be a confused state put on that counter from the MG5. Uh, now over on S Beach here, we have, I think, three steps. Yes, the MG doesn't have a step, so that's 1.5 points and this is a shallow trench <coughs> excuse me so that's uh plus three not plus four uh, plus three on the 1.5 table and uh we have a five going up to an eight and the eight on 1.5 gives us uh 0 0.06 uh, we have a 10 that's not quite enough however it does again confuse so we're getting at least some effect. Uh, finally up on X Beach, uh, we have two steps. So that's uh, on the one column and that shallow trench. So plus three, uh, that's a one going to a four, uh, which gives us 0 0.07. Uh, we have a 35. So, but that stack is already confused. Uh, sorry, I've played that wrong, haven't I? Um, you don't get confusion. What you do is you get the morale check. Uh, I'm going to have to re-roll the... Uh, actually, I can look back and see what the uh, the rolls... Uh, I can't, because they weren't on camera. I'll have to re-roll the... Um, the... Uh, morale rolls for these two um, because I took them as being confused because of the point four, but that's not correct. Uh, you just have to take um, a morale check in that case. So I'll actually do that. Um, so for the unit on the camber, a 63 is fine, and for S Beach, a 02 is fine. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I uh, thought that was being a little bit too effective um, since last turn. Uh, right, so that's the MG fire from the Bates. Um, and then there's the contested beach sub segment, but this is during the day, so there's no effect there. Uh, and we're down to sequencing and activation for the landing, landing bridgements. So uh, we will land the W Beach first. So we will move the one unit here into the W stack hex. Um, the HQs don't draw fire, so we place them straight in to the hex. Uh, we have opportunity fire into uh, the hex for those for that unit and that's um, a half firepower so we do that roll half firepower and um, they're landing so it's uh, double steps that's two steps but two steps don't uh, don't actually uh, provide any modifier I believe um, and so, uh, certainly for infantry fire. So, uh, yeah, we'll just do the uh, straight roll, I think. Uh, we've got the terrain in the hex is, I believe it's uh, folded scrub, so that's a plus one. Um, there we have a minus three because of moving, so minus two. Uh, it's a six, I don't think that's going to be any where near and it's a very high percentile roll so I won't even check that uh, so that landing was successful so these units have moved uh, that unit could continue moving it's in second wave so it gets four movement points and it would cost two to land probably three in which case it, it can't really move so uh, that's the W stack done with uh, the River Clyde that will now land, so I will place this 
out of the beach and this means that these units here within the Clyde can then uh, unload. Um, I just read back the River Clyde rules and actually the uh, MGs on River Clyde can actually fire in the naval sub-segment uh, two lots of 3MG fire at the landing hex. So we'll do that. Um, that's uh, two rolls on the three column and plus four on the um, on the modifier for the defence. So we'll roll the first one. We have a zero. Uh, sorry, a five. Plus three is an eight. Um, three points is sixteen, and we have a zero nine. A zero nine um, is a failure. That's a step loss. Uh, looking at the uh, rules, there's an example with uh, a picket and an artillery, uh, sorry, an MG unit, which is effectively what the Nordfelt Gatling guns are. And it says um, both together actually represent a step loss, because the Nordfelt is a zero step and the picket is a quarter. So actually the, uh, the River Clyde machine guns actually uh, remove the defenders from the hex. Um, which is uh, uh, which is uh, something uh, yeah uh, unexpected really, but the zero nine roll um, really really worked. Uh, so uh, that was the naval fire. We're back to uh, the actual landing. So the River Clyde has appeared in the hex. Uh, we'll put the stack V there. Um, and we'll start to land some units, I think. So, um, just looking at uh, what we have here, just uh, zoom in. So we have two companies of the second hands, um, two companies of RMF. Um, no, four companies of the RMF. Uh, yeah, so actually the RM RMF would probably be the best ones to land first. However, because they're River Clyde, when they land, um, they have to do it individually. So there's a opportunity fire roll per unit actually landing, and they're triple steps for the density modifier. Um, <clears throat> so for three steps it's an extra minus one uh, so the unit moving into the hex out of the River Clyde he's uh, exposed um, I'm wondering if uh, the barbed wire is a problem um, I'm pretty sure that would still count. So, um, when being f when this unit is being fired on, uh, it'll be minus three for moving, uh, minus three again for the hex side of the beach uh, of the uh, barbed wire. Um, <clears throat> but there is no no man's land because there isn't a unit in the hex firing uh, onto them. Uh, I believe that's that's how it works. So that's a minus six and a minus seven because of the uh, the triple uh, density modifier. So minus seven, uh, what we have here is we have three quarters of a fire point from the three, let me, uh, missed all that, um, on the camera. So, sorry, going back through that again. Um, so landing on the beach, we have uh, plus three for moving, sorry, minus three for moving, Minus three for the barbed wire hex side, and uh, minus one for the three steps equivalent landing uh, off River Clyde. Uh, so that's a minus seven, and we've got these three units firing in, uh, which are um, yeah three quarters. Uh, we actually do have um, plunging fire from here. That's an extra modifier of uh, a minus one, I believe. So that is actually minus eight. So three quarters of a point with a minus eight. Uh, 
uh, we have a 2 result, and minus 8 would be minus 6. On 3 quarters, the point is 0.25. Now we've got a 58, so that's not a loss. Um, however, uh, that is a morale check. The morale check is 14, so therefore the unit lands successfully. Right, uh, and can then be in V Beach and it is now in the trench. Uh, so one unit's come out. Um, I'm wondering whether we should risk a second. Um, yeah, probably. So we'll try to run a second out of uh, River Clyde. Let me expand this so you can see. So this is the uh, this is the X Company from RMF. That's the Royal Munster Fusiliers. So more Irishmen uh, having a bit more luck than the Dubliners did. <clears throat> so again, I think it's the same. Uh, it's the same story. We have. Uh, a minus eight with uh, three quarters. Uh, that's a four, so minus four, uh, minus four is point one nine. Uh, we have a very high roll, ninety seven on the uh, on the value, so there's no morale check uh, and that unit lands as well so we're getting a stack here I think we'll try and get a third company in and roll the same again and actually River Clyde seems to be doing very very well uh, first roll of 0.75 with uh, yeah with uh, minus 8 uh, we have an 8, uh, an 8 minus 8 is the 0, which is 0 0.11. We actually have a 16, so it's not quite a loss, but we do uh, do the morale check, uh, and which is a 56, sorry, 54, which is uh, fine again. So we have most of the battalion here. I think we might send the next out as well. <clears throat> so again, 0.75 for five point at minus eight. Uh, a four gets us to minus four, point one nine, and an eighty two is a uh, is a no result. So um, I'm wondering if we should try anyone else. Um, I think that might be enough at the moment to um, try and do some beach clearing uh, beyond the stack and make it easier for the others. Uh, we do of course have the machine guns on the River Clyde to help as well so I think that's a substantial force uh, and we'll, um, we'll, we'll, stick, we'll stick with that. Um, okay well that's a bit of a turn up for the books. We, we have V Beach um, available at 8 a.m., um, which was definitely not historical. Uh, and uh, let's see where else we shall go. Uh, so let's look at S Beach here. Um, we have a stack of uh, three units landing. That's doubled, so that's uh, six steps on density. Six steps is a minus four. Um, I don't believe there is any barbed wire. So there's just the minus three for uh, landing. So that's uh, uh, a minus seven. And we have a quarter of a point uh, as the defense. Uh, actually, we have half a point because it's actually in the hex. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's half a point. It's doubled. So half a point at uh, minus seven. We have a zero. Uh, minus seven puts us on minus seven. And for half a point is a point two five. Uh, we have, again, a big percentile result of 83. 
um, which is uh, not a casualty and it's not even a morale check. Um, we are moving to assault because the unit, uh, there is a unit in the hex, so uh, we can put these units in the S Beach um, little box here and we'll put the Turkish picket defender um, into into the box as well and we'll have a shallow trench marker to go with him and an assault marker and doing the assault uh, will actually uh, remove a uh, a point uh, an officer point from FC Alpha it's not a it's not an HQ that has a lot of officer points it only starts with three and they're down to two so we're not expecting a lot of uh, a lot of movement and a lot of dynamics coming out of this beach it seems um, what I also do, I forgot to do, is now I could land the uh, the, the HQ into V Beach because it doesn't draw fire, and we can put it in the hex. So V Beach actually has uh, an operating HQ uh, as well. So that, along with um, W Beach, um, with an HQ here, um, we've only got X Beach, which is uh, uh, really suffering, and that's uh, up at the top of the map there. And uh, as it's facing these Nordfelt guns here, though confused, um, it's pretty tough up there. Okay, so we'll do the opportunity fire for landing. Uh, again, it's not barbed wire, it is a shallow trench. Um, it, the hex is being attacked directly, so the defenders are doubled. However, they're halved because they're confused, so that's still a one and a quarter. So that's the one and a quarter chart. Uh, there are two points, uh, two stepping steps landing. That's doubled to four. Um, the four density comes out as a minus two. So uh, minus three for moving and minus two um, uh, for the. Um, uh, for the density and I think I think that's all so a minus five on one and a quarter that comes out as a zero and one and a quarter is 0.16 we have a 46 so that is a morale check just so no losses on the way in um, we'll put the units onto X Beach, um, place the stack here, and then we have our defenders, confused defenders, um, and they'll need the uh, shallow trench marker. And there we go. Um, so there's uh, uh, there's going to be a combat there, uh, which means uh, moving to assault, which means a loss of an offer to point for X Beach. Uh, so with the assault, uh, uh, the assault, we have a quarter of a five point in defense uh, we have three points in attack um, the defense in the shallow trench would be a plus three um, the defense for the landing units is a plus one for the uh, for the folded scrub um, yeah so we'll have to look at the chart on that so that uh, ends up on the 2 versus 0.25 chart. So we, we, we start on the 3 um, 
column, we drop down to the 1.5 for the plus 3 defence of the shallow trench. And then uh, the plus 1 on the attacker side uh, becomes a column shift because we can't drop below 0.25 uh, for the defender uh, fire points. So we end up on the 2 to 0 .5, 0 0.25 chart. Uh, so the defender takes a loss up to an 86 and attacker from the 82. So this is not looking good for the defender. And we actually have a 94. So um, that is actually a loss for the attacker. Uh, so quite a roll there. Um, so one of these units is lost. Um, so the uh, uh, the S Beach contingent will have to take a morale check, which we will then roll. Uh, Thirty six is fine, so they don't need to retreat. Um, now. Uh, you can actually continue combat as long as a morale check hasn't been uh, hasn't been failed. So on the second round, uh, because it's just a shallow trench and not a fire trench with barbed wire, um, the uh, the modifiers are done away with. Effectively, the defenders are in the trench, and it's a straight up fight from the second round onwards. If there was barbed wire. It would have been an extra round with uh, the defensive modifiers as we had in the first round. Um, but it's just a straight up um, combat now, so two to one quarter on the chart. So again, it's quite extreme, but we saw the results of the roll before. Let's see what we have this time. Uh, we have a 78, which is quite high, um, but is still a loss for the defender on the 2 versus 0.25 chart so the picket uh, is removed and S speech is taken uh, because we had a loss at, um, um, at S speech that's 2 Officer points uh, dropped as well. Uh, that actually means that um, S Beach has no officer points remaining, so they are going to automatically fail their orders um, for turn three, I'm afraid. But uh, they're on the beach at least. Um, they're in the hex and uh, they're in the trenches uh, and uh, we'll see what happens from then on. Uh, I've just realised I've actually missed a unit. We actually have the unit landing at V Camber. Um, uh, here which I haven't done anything with. Um, I think we've done the naval fire for the uh, the boats coming in. Um, I think we need to do the opportunity fire here as well. So that's um, the equivalent of two steps coming in. Uh, we have um, uh, a quarter, double to a half. Um, and there is barbed wire. I'm sure you can just quite see it there. So it's minus three for moving, minus three for the barbed wire, and it's a fire trench, so there's no man's land as well. So that's um, a minus nine, and the two steps don't actually add anything. So that's just a minus nine. So it's a half firepower factor on minus nine. This is just stepping back to the fire segment before the assault. Uh, let's see how that goes. So we have a three, which comes out as a minus six. Minus six for half a point is 0.22, and we have a 40. So that's uh, not a loss, but it is a morale check, 
and the morale is 83, which is a failure. So the incoming unit is confused. And um, we can f now wind forward to the, um, the assault. Uh, we are part of V Beach, so the assault will cost an officer point. means we're now down to two officer points at V Beach and uh, I mean if if this unit is lost that'll remove the last of the officer points um, so we do have an assault here uh, confused so it's worth half so we have um, a, a defender that's a quarter uh, with a plus four defense and uh, the attacker has a plus one. So uh, half a point attacking a quarter of a point. And if we apply the attacker's defense that brings us up to 0.75 if um, we then push the defender we get I think we start to go off the chart let me check this yeah we adjust up the row for the defender so that comes out as a 0.25 attacker um, attacking a one strength five point strength defender uh, and that's uh, pretty horrible odds um, defender loss on 0, 0.9 or less attacker loss on 0, 0.7 or more uh, so fearful odds but let's see what happens uh, well it's a 53 um, so definitely it's an attacker loss so that unit is lost and we lose the two officer points from V Beach. Right, um, the only one we have left to do is X Beach up here, um, which has the, the last Gatling gun. So we have two units um, landing and assaulting. And in defense, we have uh, one and a quarter points, um, five points defending. Um, those are half, so that's 0.75. Uh, no, less than that. Um, or we'll call it 0.5. Um, so half a point in defense and two points in attack. It's a shallow trench. So it's a plus three to plus one. And half a point of a defense to uh, two points of the attacker. And uh, so that's uh, a one attacker versus a point two five defender. Um, Attacker loss on 70 or more, defender loss on 73 or less. Uh, so they may well get this actually. Uh, we get a 0 9, so that's definitely a defender loss. Uh, so as these units are less than a step, those units are removed. Uh, the attacker takes no losses. And uh, X Beach is taken as well. Uh, and that's, uh, oh, we can keep, we can keep the units on there, of course. We've got the marker there. Uh, and then now part of the, they have the shallow trench available to be used. So that completes uh, the amphibious assault segment and we're on to the normal activations phase. Um, so let's get on with that.
Okay, with the activations phase, um, we've got our chits in uh, the cup to pick. Uh, we roll for initiative uh, for each chit pick. And uh, yeah, we've uh, I've only got three in there. Um, we've got Y Beach, Dolby Beach, and then the Turkish 26th Regiment um, as a for command counters. I haven't put the other ones in um, the other beaches because they uh, you know haven't got anything to activate really. So um, I think uh, you know, there's no point in putting them in. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll crack on with the activations. So. Um, each activation is a uh, competitive dice roll, and uh, there's a modifier for the Turks because of the ground they hold, um, and uh, that should give them, uh, I think, let's just check how many... Yeah, so three locations. Um, the the one on this board being Achibaba, which is uh, uh, just uh, across here, at this uh, this high ground here. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, holding all three uh, gives us uh, a, a minus uh, one die roll modifier for um, the initiative. So the dice rolls, um, we have uh, the red for the British and green for the Turks, seems most appropriate, and we've got minus one for the Turks, and the lowest uh, wins. Uh, we have uh, two sevens, so the Turks win on the dice roll modifier. Uh, they only have one counter to pick, so therefore we will pick that, which is the 26th Regiment, uh, and that will be activated. Uh, normally, if you have more than one, um, chip, you roll uh, an, uh, a sequencing threshold dice and uh, if you roll under a, or equal to a number you can pick um, the activation uh, other than that you have to decide randomly on your side what, uh, what activation happens but we've only got one on the Turkish side so uh, that's the 26th regiment um, which we can uh, we can use so what can, can we do with the 26th regiment well, they're in cordon defence, so um, where the pickets are, they really have to uh, stay there or withdraw back to their rally points, which I don't think is a lot of point because they're in the best defensive um, positions at the moment. Um, so not really um, concerned about the pickets. The, um, the other part non-picket parts uh, which is um, the two stacks here and one here just on the ed edge of the um, on, on the edge of the uh, uh, view here um, are both uh, designated as in support uh, so uh, with a cordon defense you have to commit these support units and you have to dice roll uh, to show their commitment now the use of these troops um, is subject to a release schedule even though they're on the board they're kind of like uh, reinforcements. The reinforcement schedule mentions that this turn the um, the second battalion of the 26th regiment is released. Um, this represents uh, effectively this stack here um, and all the blue pickets. Uh, the third, um, third battalion, which is the purples here and this particular this stack, doesn't mention them, but I'm presuming that they're released on the first turn. Um, they're available immediately. Uh, so uh, the release is available for the entire 26th regiment. It seems here, and um, so. As I said, we don't th I don't think we'll do anything particularly with the pickets, um, but I think we will try and release um, at, uh, some of these, uh, commit some of these in support units. Um, just checking the commitment here. Um, I'm actually doing this slightly out of turn. Uh, the commitment actually happens during the orders phase as a kind of change orders uh, dice roll. 
Um, so I'll kind of do that now because you know we'll, we'll, we'll crack on with it. Um, should have done it in the order segment and quite appreciated that. Um, but we'll uh, we'll get uh, those rolls done. Uh, right, so the roll for the 26th uh, Regiment of the 9th Division is um, currently 56 of change orders. Uh, to commit units in support, it's a minus 25 on the dice. So uh, we'll do a roll for um, each of the two uh, stacks. Uh, it's done by battalion. And um, yeah, so uh, the 3rd Battalion is the purples here and uh, the second battalion is the light blues here so two rolls um, minus uh, 25 on the dice roll and we need a 56 or less and um, if there's a failure nothing happens basically it just doesn't get released uh, or committed so um, looking at the third uh, third battalion here down here roll for that commitment we roll a 66, uh, minus 25 on that will get us below the 56, so they are committed. And the pom-pom gun is, is, uh, will, will, is an independent unit, but uh, will be activated along with, um, with those battalions. And for the second battalion, uh, 44, yeah, uh, definitely committed, so... Uh, both of those stacks can now move and uh, the idea is that they can then move to objective hexes that already exist. Now the objective hexes are where any of their other troops are located for that regiment. Um, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll look to see where we want to uh, move these units. So what we do uh, with these uh, with these battalions is we assign a commit objective uh, so they that, that can be um, the current objective or we can assign a new one uh, right sorry about that uh, camera ran out of space um, I've um, uh, decided exactly what uh, what I'm going to do here and, and moved the units um, uh, in in their uh, into their respective objectives. So I picked an objective hex here um, for the third uh, third battalion. Uh, it'll keep an eye on X Beach, slightly block X Beach coming into play to try and uh, free up the other beaches. Um, there is uh, on X Beach a um, machine gun unit which can fire so we will do some opportunity fire on there but it'd be fairly weak half a point um, up on the second um, with the paranoia of uh, Y Beach um, we've set an objective here and uh, we've trailed a, uh, a company um, from Carithia uh, so that we get messaging range back to the HQ uh, even though then it's uh, there's no isolation I think be a good idea to try and uh, do that uh, so and again we do have an MG unit here as behind a, a ridge so uh, we'll need to do the fire on that um, what I will do though is the pom pom gun will actually stay where it was and I will do commanded fire so that actually will be the first thing that happens in the turn kind of done this ask about face because uh, well I'm kind of learning and wondering uh, what to do here so um, I'll do the commanded fire, then I'll do the opportunity fires back um, uh, on those units. And uh, yeah, that uh, that will be the 26th Regiment then um, completed. Uh, except for the fact, of course, that these pickets can actually fire their commanded fire as well. Uh, so um, in the uh, to try and sort of hurry things along, actually, I will do uh, those shots. Uh, and give you a resume. Um, otherwise, each each of these videos is going to be uh, hours long. Uh, so uh, yeah, let me uh, just do that and see what we get. Right, we've uh, completed that. Um, sorry about the uh, mix-up or um, uh, you know getting out of phase and things like that. So 
Uh, the upshot is that not much happened. Um, there was no casualties. Uh, there was a couple of morale checks, but they were passed easily. Um, we have the unit here, which is uh, which is uh, uh, on its objective. Um, it was fired at by the machine gun, but did no uh, no. Uh, there was no damage caused. Over here, I've decided to hide this unit behind the ridge, so it can't be fired at. Um, when it unhides, it will be able to be fired at, but um, it won't be moving at that point, so I won't get the um, the bad dice roll modifier for moving. I thought that's probably the safer thing to do. Um, and um, that about uh, wraps it up for uh, for the 26th Regiment uh, for this turn. Uh, so now we're back with uh, the other commands for the Allies. Uh, so we have uh, Y Beach and W Beach. Uh, we don't need the contested di uh, dice roll anymore because the Turks don't have any commands to uh, command chits to pull. Um, but um, I think we'll do a roll to see if we can sequence. Um, not sure it's that critical, but uh, which we can decide which goes first, Y Beach or W Beach. Um, and so we'll roll. We need a two or less for this. Uh, we don't get it, so it's a random pick anyway. And we get W Beach here, uh, and that's the units up here which are in this hex. Now, uh, the guys up here landed. Um, uh, these guys here uh, landed uh, the turn before and did the assault. They are confused. Um, now um, we can uh, we can actually do a rally action on them. Yeah, that cost them a third of their um, movement allowance to to remove that. But we can do um, uh, we can fire uh, first from them, uh, so these units um, can fire. I think we will probably choose uh, this unit here. Uh, I think uh, W Beach should sort of clear uh, the beach area here and then uh, move this way. So I think uh, initially to, uh, 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 to to look at firing there. Um, this is the uh, the LF, I think that's the Lancashire Fusiliers. So um, looking at the orders for the LF, um, they are supposed to go uh, straight ahead and then split um, between the two uh, the two objectives here so um, come up here and split between the two but I'd like to get the beach cleared first uh, and that's uh, that's what we'll do uh, we can we can vary the route march by one hex so it shouldn't be that uh, that critical but those are the objectives anyway Right, um, so we will uh, fire the units uh, this direction, uh, and that is uh, three, uh, four points of uh, fire against uh, the fire trench here. So that's plus four in defense. So we've got a combat of four with plus four. Uh, we'll do that quickly, um, might as well. Uh, there's no density modifier, because uh, it's just a picket in there. And uh, we roll a five, comes a nine. Um, that comes out at um, 0.14, and we get a 46. So that is a morale check. Um, and looking at the morale, we have a 61, so there's no effect. Um, I think we'll use the movement allowance to then remove the confused marker. Uh, yeah. Okay, looking at the situation, uh, if we followed the exact line of march, uh, we'd end up uh, in this hex here, um, which would be a bit of a crossfire nightmare. Um, so I think what we'll look at is uh, W and X, which is effectively the the left half battalion of the LF, um, which is meant to go to that hex. We think we will attack into here. Um, y will wait, um, Z only just landed, so that's the uh, right half um, 
and uh, hopefully we can go in this direction. Uh, so we will attempt to move a two uh, it's two moving points for the confusion to be removed, and then we will attempt to move to assault in this hex. Uh, that takes up an officer point, um, so that produces uh, W Beach, um, which is the most active beach still with officers, so um, just as well. Uh, and then we make the dice roll, um, which is. Uh, uh, to be a 78. So we roll the... We get a 66, that's fine. So they will um, move to assault. Um, so we will move into uh, this hex and uh, receive opportunity fire. Uh, and the opportunity fire, we will get fire from this hex as well. Um, if this unit was at the back, it would be firing through its own troops, but as it's oblique, it can fire in and contribute. So we have half a point in defense because it's at zero um, and um, a quarter of a point uh, as well. Um, so 0 0.75 um, coming at the unit. It's through barbed wire, so it's one to enter the hex plus one for the barbed wire. Um, so uh, that does give us a minus three for moving and then a minus three for the barbed wire. Uh, there is no um, well, actually, there might be. Is that a fire trench? It is a fire trench. There is a no man's land. So there's a minus nine uh, in total on there. There's no doubling up now of density because they're not landing. So it's um, three quarters of a point at minus nine. Let's quickly roll that. Uh, that gives us a minus five result. Um, and minus five result on three quarters is 0.22. Um, we don't get a hit on a 59, but uh, we do get a morale check. Um, however, that's on a 17 is passed. So uh, the units are able to assault and we'll place an assault marker on those units. And uh, uh, that's it for uh, the movement of, uh, of W Beach uh, units. Uh, so we'll go straight to the assault, and the assault uh, is uh, with the two units, there's two steps against uh, a one quarter, and uh, now that one quarter is in a fire trench, so it's on a plus four uh, on a defensive modifier. Uh, this is scrub, folded scrub, so um, the, uh, the, the British units only get a plus one. Uh, let's have a quick look at the table, calculate the table. Yeah, okay, so that's the 0.75 attacker versus 0.5 defender. Um, attacker takes a loss on 42 or greater, defender takes a loss on 46 or less. So very even. Uh, let's, uh, let's just roll those dice uh, and see how we go. So we have a 33. Um, a 33 is the uh, defender loss um, only, uh, and as it's a picket, it will be removed. So those units have taken that trench. Uh, in a rather, rather spectacular way. Um, and that's W Beach done. So now we finally have Y Beach. There's only one counter to pick. Uh, y Beach is on stalled attack. It has no officer points. Um, the units that landed this turn are in Y Beach themselves. Um, I'm not sure I really need to actually move anything. Uh, we could do a commanded fire onto that hit. Well, we can't actually because it's hiding. Uh, the units there hiding. Let me zoom in uh, on this beach. There we go. Turn the light up a bit. So there's a. Uh, there we go. So uh, the Y stack um, is there as well. Uh, we've got the Plymouth uh, Battalion here, the two half battalions, which are actually normal battalions here. Um, but they just landed. Uh, I'm quite happy to let uh, sleeping dogs lie, really, and not do anything with uh, Y. Well, um, maybe we can use the, the stalled attack to just get a little bit further uh, down on the objectives. The, the objectives are actually down 
here towards uh, X Beach. Uh, if we look at the um, the line of march here, so we want to go down the gully effectively, and uh, I'm not sure if really going into the gully is a great idea, but um, yeah, we might move a little bit forward on that. Uh, maybe with these units and uh, staying within messaging range uh, we will move down into the ravine and forward they've got six moving points ravine at ravine hex side is plus three I believe so um, they will be able to get more than one hex uh, I think that's uh, that's a reasonable thing to do with Y Beach um, and uh, that's it for the activations. So once we've done the activations, uh, we really are just about done completely with um, the uh, 6 to 8 a.m. turn. Uh, we just have the end of turn phase, and uh, which is really um, removing the fired marker from the artillery unit. Let's just zoom back out now. Uh, remove the artillery fired marker and uh, we can also um, move the turn marker on and uh, I think that's that's about it yeah so that's the 8 a.m. turn 6, 6, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. turn uh, that's uh, that's all it's been a little bit chaotic so first real turn of uh, moving things around and doing things. Probably made a few mistakes here. Um, I think the major sort of headline item is the fact that uh, River Clyde actually worked um, and sailing in the uh, the Army um, uh, the, the, the Army Service Corps um, machine guns on the uh, uh, on the front of the ship uh, were able to clear out the defenders and um, the uh, the units moving out of River Clyde were able to actually get onto the beach and we've got effectively a whole battalion now onto the beach. No officer points, of course, so they're not really going to go anywhere. Um, they're going to be failing their orders to a stalling attack next turn, so they, they might get a little bit further, but that's about it. However, there's uh, much less casualties than I thought there would be. Uh, that's probably the headline item. Um, all the beaches have landed, uh, even next beach, so... Um, uh, there's units on the board, uh, but it's all very disorganised. There's not a lot of officers around. Uh, v Beach and uh, W Beach, uh, not W Beach, V Beach and uh, uh, Y Beach are on zero officer points. So, uh, yeah, it's, there's not going to be a lot of movement in those cases, and I think the others are going to suffer a bit as well. Um, but uh, that's it for the turn. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, again, sorry about uh, it being a little bit chaotic, but uh, just getting up to speed on how to do things. And we'll get on with the 8am to 10am turn, turn three next. And uh, hopefully I shall see you then. Thanks for watching.